everybody, it's Brandon again. Um, this video was shot over the course of a couple days, so if you see a bunch of lighting changes or my clothes changing or things like that, uh, that's the reason why. What I did here was on my 2011 MacBook Air, I had Chrome OS Flex on it, and I did a series of tests using Chrome OS Flex, then I reformatted it, and then did the same tests using Zorin OS Core 16.1. And so what I'm going to do here is go back and forth showing you how things ran between the two systems and that way you guys can see on really old slow hardware, which is what this 2011 MacBook Air is, uh, which one of the two systems uh, works better. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, here we're testing up this boot up time from completely off of Chrome OS Flex on a 2011 MacBook Air. So here we go. There it is. Pretty quick. All right, now we're going to test the startup time on Zorin OS Core here. Let's see what the difference is. There's our logo. And actually I have this one set to not require a login. So it's gonna go straight to the desktop. So that might slow it down a little bit. But it still came up pretty good. Here's the uh, built-in video and sound quality uh, using Chrome OS Flex on this MacBook. I don't expect it to be any different on Linux, but uh, we'll do it side by side and see. Okay, we're now doing a test of the recording uh, webcam and microphone quality under Linux, under Zorin Linux. Um, it's nighttime now, as you might be able to notice, so I don't have any sunlight in here, so that might affect the quality a little bit. I mean, the quality's not going to be good anyway, because the camera sucks on this thing, and you, there's probably no difference, but here they are side by side just to be thorough. All right, next, guys, I wanted to show you the uh, browser speedometer benchmark I did on both of these systems. And I'm on my main desktop right now. I'm not on any of the devices in question. But first I ran this on the Chrome OS. So I took a screenshot of what I got here. I got a 64.2 on this uh, browserbench.org speedometer. Then I ran it on the Zorin OS. And here's what I got. 65.4. So basically the same. I will say the first time I ran it on Zorin, uh, I got like 30. I was like, what's going on here? But um, I think I had to run it again because it seemed so un... Like I couldn't believe it would be so much different. And I think the reason it was low is because the first time I ran it, uh, Zorin was installing updates in the background. And so I'm thinking just the multitasking sucks on that laptop and it couldn't do more than one thing at a time. So, but these two are now both taken just right after the computer booted up. So I use Google Chrome on both of them so I'd have an accurate test, and they both pretty much got the same speed. I mean, the Zorin, one point faster, but I could probably run them five times, and they'd average out the same. So if you're just doing web applications, <clears throat> I'd expect them to perform pretty much the same, no matter which system you're using. All right, now we're just going to kind of quickly go over the general user experience on Chrome OS Flex on this MacBook. As you can see, um, everything's pretty responsive, which... I mean, Chrome OS has always been responsive for me. Here's what the files looks like. If you've been using Chrome OS Flex, you know what the deal is. Um, pretty much on this MacBook, everything I'm using is going to be a web app. I don't know why I just opened my Gmail. But there you can take a look at it. Uh, YouTube, you click on it, it basically comes right up. One thing I'll tell you about this MacBook Air is I cannot get the Linux environment to work. I can go through the uh, setup for it however many times, you know, I feel like and it'll never work you can just take my word on that and so yeah this I mean if you want to know more about what the Chrome OS Flex experience is like you can look through some of the other videos on my channel but I just wanted to show that even on this old MacBook Air you know windows move around smooth everything works pretty good I can move my face around here like crazy and so 
in, in terms of performance, if you're just doing the web app type of stuff, Chrome OS Flex works great on this 2011 MacBook Air. All right, so now we're taking a look at how um, Zorn OS runs on this MacBook Air. And I have the memory usage pulled up here. Right now, we're using up 1.5 gigs, but this is with OBS Studio running and recording in the background. Right when I booted this thing up, it was at 1.1 gigabytes. So that's the kind of usage you can expect on a clean install of Zorn OS Core. This is not the light edition. And I don't know how much Chrome OS Flex uses. I don't know how to check that on Chrome OS. Maybe I'll look into that more later. So if your machine only had two gigs of RAM, it's, well, it's going to be struggling on anything. Two gigs is nothing. But let's just go around and look at uh, some of the other stuff here. I did install Chrome, the browser, on this thing. And just to show that if you are wanting a lot of Linux applications, but you still like the uh, web apps that you get with Chrome, I mean, you can still do that on here. I set up Google Drive as a web app, which, of course, is taking forever to show up. That's one thing I noticed on Chrome OS Flex, right when you click on a uh, application, a web app that is, it comes right up, whereas there's a little time you got to wait here on um, Zorin. But that's always for first launch. Once you get things going, it uh, works a little better. And for some reason, I think I just clicked on a notification is why that came up. Um, I do think Chrome OS Flex runs a little bit more smoothly than Zorin. As I said, this is the core edition, not the light edition. And so if all you are going to be doing is web apps, I think Chrome OS Flex on low hardware is going to be a better option for you. Because for just the web stuff, uh, Chrome OS Flex does run a little better. Now, where the math changes on that is if you're going to be doing Linux applications. First of all, Linux didn't even work on this MacBook Air for Chrome OS Flex, so that's one thing. Uh, but second of all, even on a device where you can get Linux up and running, it's always, always, always better on a Linux machine. In fact, in my view, the Linux experience right now on Chrome OS Flex, not that good. On here, um, I was able to pull Minecraft. It worked fine. You saw my video the other day about Terraria, where it barely worked on Chrome OS Flex. Here it works perfectly. Um, in terms of Office, this is going to have all the normal... Uh, LibreOffice stuff that you're going to need. Um, you can also do Google Docs on this just like you could on a Chromebook with no problem. And, you know, it, it, you can't see it right here, but I was using this earlier today and it was running quite a bit better. And I don't know if it's because I'm on battery power right now. I, um, my cable doesn't reach to where I have the laptop sitting, so I had to unplug it to do this video. But as I kind of showed in the Chrome video, like things still move around smoothly here. Uh, I think it looks good. And you're just going to have a whole lot more capabilities. So what my thought on this is if you need Linux applications, um, you know, Linux is really the way to go. But here you can kind of just see uh, Zorin to me is almost just as responsive as a Chrome OS Flex. And you got to understand, on this, this is a 11-year-old laptop, and it's MacBook Air, which they're not powerful to begin with. This thing wasn't even getting Mac OS updates anymore, and uh, the last version of Mac OS I was on it just barely ran. So this is a huge improvement. So if you're on a Mac or on Windows, and you just want a big improvement and to bring life into its, into the system, you're not going to go wrong with either Zorn or Chrome. But I just wanted to kind of show you what the interface is like on this one. So let's move on. So that's kind of my comparison between the two. Now, I, when I was going back and reviewing the footage, I noticed uh, when I was showing the Zorin just then, um, it seemed really choppy on the recording. It wasn't that bad when I was using it. And I think a lot of that's due to just it can't handle the screen recording with the OBS Studio. In fact, OBS gave me a default on Zorn to turn the resolution down when recording, but I turned it up as high as it could go because I just wanted to. And so, um, I, I didn't capture it very good there, but the Zorin actually does run pretty good on the laptop. I'd say when you're using each of them, the uh, smoothness and just general usage is the same. Um, but one thing about Zorin, and I couldn't compare this on the Mac because it won't do Linux apps, 
but when you have more than one program going, it it's, does grind to a halt. And I, that, a lot of that's the problem of this laptop. Um, and, and whatever operating system you're going to give it, it's not for multitasking. But, um, so what I'd say is this. If you're a guy or girl looking to get away from Windows or Mac OS on an old unsupported system, either one of these are going to be fine. Now, if you're using just web apps, I'd say give Chrome OS Flex a pretty strong look. Um, that's probably what, I mean, my Asus laptop, I'm going to keep Chrome OS Flex on it for sure. I may keep Zorin on the MacBook for a little while just because um, some of the hardware wasn't working on Chrome OS Flex. Like the SD card reader was not working on Chrome OS Flex. I couldn't get Linux support at all working on Chrome OS Flex. So I might keep Zorin on that one. But my Asus I'm definitely going to keep on Chrome OS so I can keep on top of the latest updates that are coming out and so I can try things. But like I said, if all you're doing is web stuff, either one is going to be fine. No question. I mean, the Zorin, just for using web apps, is going to work good, too. So in that respect, it's kind of just comes down to which one you think looks better, I think. Now, if you do want the Linux options, I mean, I hate to say it, but don't even bother with Chrome OS Flex. I know half my channel is testing Linux stuff on Chrome OS Flex, and we get a lot of it to work. But it's not the best experience ever. Um... Linux apps run better on Linux. It should be no surprise. That's just the way it is. Now, they might get better on Chrome OS Flex. And one of the things we're going to do on this channel is we're going to keep testing it as new updates come out to see if it's improved. But as of right now, Linux uh, apps on Chrome OS Flex are hit or miss, mostly miss. And even when they work, they're a little slower. And they just have quirks. They just have quirks. So... That's my final recommendation. I like both of them. I'm going to keep one laptop with one, one with the other. Uh, for just web, use whatever you like best. I don't think Chrome OS Flex is really any faster than Zorin for just web apps. I really don't. If you want Linux, I would, you can make it work on Chrome OS Flex. And if you really want to make it work, check out some of the other videos on my channel where we go through that. But you are better off uh, using Linux for Linux apps. But that's my comparison. That's my take. You guys can let me know in the comments if you agree. Um, if you think I messed something up, that's fine. Uh, everyone's entitled to their opinion. These are mine. This is what I came up with. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate a like and a subscription. And if you didn't like it, it's cool that you're still watching a video that you didn't like. And I hope to see you all again for more Chrome OS Flex and other miscellaneous Linux content. Thank you all for being here, and I hope you all have a good day. Goodbye now.